Hey guys, it's Laura, Laura's Design Studio. And the mailman just dropped me off my resin rockers package. Now, if you guys know anything, you've been following me along, I am starting to do resin again. And after I get done with this weekend and the craft show, I will be comparing the different brands that I got. Uh, one, well, the original one that I got was a Tamu brand, which only seems to be available in the kits. Um, it was okay. I also have J Dic Diction um, that you can get on Amazon. And that one is going to be coming up as a comparison. The other one is um, Counterculture, which has one of the best resin, the epoxy resin around. I've never tried their UV, um, but uh, we will see how that one does. And then the last one that I wanted to try was Resin Rockers. Now this company is only four years old, so they are a new company. However, they seem to be taking uh, resin by storm at this point. They have excellent reviews, excellent community. I bought this stuff on the night that um, was their fourth birthday. They were celebrating. I actually got free stuff from them uh, because I was in the live. So what we have here and I can give you prices because this is actually my invoice. The first one on here is going to be this one, which is the mini skull mode. Uh, yeah, mold. Mini skull mold. Now, this one is quite deep not usual for a UV resin. However, Resin Rockers claims that their resin can, their UV resin can actually be done with 3D projects, which is kind of unusual. In the past, um, it has been the epoxy that you need for anything deep, which is your two, sometimes three part resin. Um, depending on the type. Uh, so we would definitely give this a try. And I'm not only going to give it a try with resin rockers, but I'm also going to give it a try with the other brands. Is this a mold thing? Because they do get their own molds made. So is it a mold thing? Is it a resin thing? They also have a UV light that I really want. It is expensive. And I will tell you, this is not a cheap resin by itself. So the mini skull was $3.99. And it is quite deep. So we're going to test that one. The next one is the snowflake. Right? Yeah. Okay. Next one is this one. It is the trees and snowflakes ornament. Okay, we're gonna go with scissors. Just, I just so here is the trees, and it makes a Christmas ornament. So the trees are deeper. So you can pour your tree color first and then everything else. It's a good mold. Also a pretty decent sized mold for, um, for UV. Uh, birthday gift number one is the next one on here. And this was part of my free items. And going to assume it's the one in this bag. Okay. 
let's see, what do we have? Oh, we've got a few things. This is Color Burst UV Resin Silver. So this is a pre-colored uh, UV resin. So silver, that's very good. Sent some of their stickers. Party like a rock star. Um, great question. Resonators mold up resinrockers.com and a little resin rockers uh, coffee cupper. And also, this is a one of their glitters and it's the purple I can't remember what they called this one but it's definitely purple so there's that the next thing on this list is the original um, crystal clear hard type ultra fast cur curing this is a 30 gram bottle, which is one ounce. And this is $12.99 for this little bottle. Like I said, they're not a cheap resin, but it may be worth it if they live up to what they say. So we're gonna put that to the test. It'll be next week because I got it. Tomorrow we're gonna go to that uh, craft show and we'll see how that goes. The next one is the Snow Globe Shaker Mold. So, yes, that must be this one. Snow Globe Shaker. Or is it this one? Nope, it's this one. So, all of you paper crafting people, you do shakers. Resin can do shakers also. So that is their snow globe shaker mold. We'll be testing that one out, definitely. Okay. And that mold goes for $3.99 also. Um, their molds are pretty inexpensive compared to other places. Their resin's a lot more, so it would, just to give you an idea let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Let me see if I can remember, remember prices here. This is counterculture. It is four ounces. And... Of course, I'm using my phone. I want to say... Twenty? $20. Four ounces. Twelve ninety nine one ounce. Okay? Now this, like I said, they have one of the leading epoxy resins out there. I have never used their UV. Just as I have never used their UV. And then we have J Diction, which this one was 23, but it was on sale on Amazon. So I can't remember what the original price was. This is the high gloss um, hard type, and this is 300 grams. So these are 100 gram bottles. So that's 100 grams, and you got three bottles for, for I think it was 23. And um, this one is 30 grams, 12.99. This one, how many grams is four ounces? 
I don't know because they only have ounces on here. So somebody do that conversion for me. So by far, Resin Rockers is going to be your most expensive. Uh, Counterculture is going to be your medium one. And then J Diction is going to be your cheapest one. And these are all top resins. I have used um, a lot of different resins. My favorite epoxy resin when I was doing large projects was from the um, epoxy resin store. I used to buy that stuff by the gallons. Um, and I've used Let's Resin. It's an okay resin, not, not one of my favorites. Um, the UV resin that I used from Let's Resin, I didn't like the tackiness. It, it had a tacky consistency on the top which you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Um, but that was, you know, years ago and they could have improved their brand. Next one is going to be the Christmas tree, must be this one. Christmas tree, this one's also $3.99. It, you have the trees within the tree. So there is that mold. Um, and this last one is a $2.99 mold. And it is called Sunshine and Waves. These are meant to be earrings. But of course, we can use them for charms or whatever. But sunshine and waves. I don't know if you can see that etched detail in there. But there you go. So we will definitely be trying these out. Shaker mold's pretty cool. Um, this one I'm very interested in because that is a mighty deep mold for UV resin. Yeah, this sits at a one inch and that's what they um, said on their website that you can use um, UV resin, their UV resin up to one inch deep, which is exactly what this one is. And they have got a lot of these. They have some animal ones. I know they have like a lizard. Or, no, I'm sorry. It's a gecko. They have a, like a rubber duck. What is the one that they, sh oh, they have a snail. And I don't remember what the other ones are, but they're all like, one inch deep molds, which is insane for a UV resin. Absolutely insane. Normally, your molds for resins are going to be, even these for a resin is pretty deep. Um, normally, your molds for UV resin are going to be like this. The little nail art ones. Or this one, not very deep. Like this one is probably this one's maybe maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe probably more like a sixteenth of an inch deep. So pretty shallow molds, um, stuff like this, again, very shallow. So for them to claim that you can pour their resin up to one inch deep is crazy. Um, 
I am super excited about this because I am not gonna, this will probably be the first one I try because I really want to see this sucker cure one inch. Um, but then by the same token, I'm gonna use the same mold to try out counterculture and J Diction because I wanna know, is it their formula? Which they do have a proprietary formula. Um, so, yeah. Because if they can pour one inch deep molds for a UV resin, I'm all in, all in. I actually watched, they have a class that I saw last night and it was um, on different types of molds that they were using. They were doing like wood earrings and everything. It was pretty cool. Um, so we will see, but that's what I have for you right now, guys. And uh, we will talk to you in the next video. Bye.